I'm using this aquarium night walk guide as the example for this lesson and currently we have some tabs over here the one that we're most interested in at the beginning here since we're covering headings then graphics then the export settings of PDFs is the paragraph styles you can find the paragraph styles on the advanced tab here or down here on typography and you see if I open that up you, you'll see that I have several different kinds of paragraph styles already set up the first one is the heading one which is what we want to mark up for the PDF so that it's accessible we can take our text tool and highlight the content and you see it shows that it's been marked up as heading one if you double click on heading one it brings up this dialog this is where you name the heading and down here is where you set the tag and the tag can be set as an h1 for epub and html or down here for pdf the ok button is not visible right now but you can click it it's on the left and cancel is on the right so you click this after you've set this to heading one okay the second level heading is right here and again you double click and you want to go to your export settings and see I've already set it up okay I'm gonna click OK so there's headings let's move on to graphics take your black pointer here and you click on a graphic you go up to object down to object export options and here you'll see that I have under tagged PDF I have it based on the object you can also add alt tags in the InDesign itself and you basically just type in this field here and so I basically had to use a custom text source for the tag PDF and type in there as well when you're done with tagging your images you click done I have two other images which are already tagged but there's a another image in the background here that you may not even notice and it's this blue color here right here and so if I pull it out you can see it's actually a picture I'm going to undo that but I am going to go back to object since it's still selected and go to object export options and here under the PDF you want to change it to artifact and when you're done you click done so the last thing I want to show you is you come up here to file export and we're going to call this basics for creating accessibility new and then we're going to click save it gives us this export Adobe PDF where you want to make sure you have a check mark here for create tagged PDF and you click export and OK you may have some corrections that you have to go back and do later but for accessibility we're going to go into our folder here and show you what the PDF actually looks like here's our file we double click on it now to check the accessibility of your document you're going to scroll down on the side over here and click accessibility you can also find it under tools and you can scroll down and you'll see it says accessibility right here okay and I'm going to click open and then I'm going to run the full check I have all these ticks already set it will create an accessibility report put it in a file for you or you can attach it to the document and then you click start checking usually it gives us an error on the title 
and you just right click that and click fix. Click the tick off or leave as is, type in the title, and then click OK. So our images are tagged and the way you can see that is you can go over here to tags, go into the art, and you can go through on the images. Then right click and go to properties. And you can see that they actually have tags. All right, as far as the headings, we'll have to find one. Here's heading one. So that's marked up properly. And I think I have to come down here a little bit. And here's another heading, heading two. And here's another heading two. And another heading two. And so you see your document is marked up for people who are using screen readers. They can list these with a command and navigate through the document that way.